So you may have created something that looks like this. For each item, we add a class called visible or invisible, depending on which button was selected in the menu. And so you think, wow, we're done. It might work. Well, let's see what happens. If we do a refresh and select an item, secret locations, and then we go back and select something else, and then they are gone. We can't see them anymore. And so what happens is we have two different classes that are conflicting. So I want to see what's going on behind the scenes. I'm going to right click on the page and choose inspect. So this works well in Chrome, for instance. In the uh, menu down here at the bottom of the screen, I can see a collection of items that are on the page. And so I'm going to open up the div called locations. And you can see that every one of those divs that's on the map has a bunch of classes associated. it. So we added place, recreation, and it has visible and invisible as two classes. And so they're conflicting in CSS. We've got two instructions to do opposite things. So we need to remove one of these if we want to make this work right. So let's close our, our console there. And let's go and add a little bit more code. So well, there is a command called add class. And there's probably one called remove class as well. So let's do the uh, second command here for a classroom. And we want to remove class. And we want to remove the invisible. So let's, uh, let's spell things right and see if that works. So I'll do that for each one of these. So for each one now, I'm removing the class of invisible. Let's save the work here, refresh the page, and see what happens. So we got recreation, we got classroom, it looks like it's doing its job. And so each one of these now is showing its part. Okay, so it seems to work now that we can show and hide different items on the screen. And that's your introduction to jQuery and JavaScript. I'd like to add one more menu item. So I can only select one of the three classes. What if I want to show everything? I would have to add a few more things. So let's go back into our HTML. And let's go down to the bottom and let's add a new option. So let's take the option value and copy it. And instead of the word classroom, I'm going to say all and tell it to show all items and save that. So now the value all is going to be another one of our choices in JavaScript. So let's go to all here and let's use a new if statement. So if the item selected equals the word all, what are we going to do? Well, we want to, we want to remove invisible from everything. So let's do this. Let's do a, let's remove everything from all the places. Let's remove the invisible from all the places. And then let's add the visible command to all the places. And so we're going to add class as visible. And so that will affect everybody, not just the specific group. So let's try that out. Let's save it and refresh the page. And we have a new item called show all items. So if I choose that one, so it doesn't seem to be working. What did I do wrong? Can you find the error? It seems to ignore the uh, show all items. Let's go look and see what we did. So in the JavaScript command, we told it, we're looking for the item called places. And if you look in your items here, they're actually not called places, it's called place. So I made a one letter mistake and it doesn't work. So I'm gonna delete those S's, save the work, refresh the page and see what happens. So I hide a few things, I show all items and there they are, okay. So now the show all seems to be doing its job. Okay, I'm almost done. One last thing I'm going to do is add some uh, different fonts to my CSS, and I think that will make it look better. So let's go to the very top, and I'm going to say anything in the body of this page is going to use the font family 
Uh, let's call it um, Sans Serif. And save that. I like that look better. And it looks like we're ready to go. Well, that pretty much brings us to the end here. We've got ourselves a good example of using absolute positioning. And then we also have a good example of using some simple jQuery on our map. So there's your introduction to JavaScript, jQuery, and absolute positioning.